this is another stove in the uh, family of butterfly brand uh, kerosene stoves. And this one, I'm told, is used in Asia for commercial uh, cooking. Uh, I purchased it for uh, cooking and, and canning. It's a heavy duty model, and I'm going to go over it with you. Uh, it comes in, in two different types. One is steel, and this, this one's a steel, and they suggest using the steel model for canning, okay? But it also comes in an aluminum model. And here are some uh, little bit of facts for you. It's 12 and a half inches tall up to the, the red line here, and it's 13 and three quarter inches in diameter. It, it is big. It holds 5.8 quarts of uh, kerosene, and again, use K1, which will give you a much cleaner burn. And it burns roughly 17 ounces an hour. So you should get up to a burn rate of 11 hours out of one tank. Let, let me go over it a little bit with you. It's much more robust than the 16 wick uh, model. It has two built-in handles right here on the sides. Look at that. A really large ring. This pops off. And look at the size of this catalytic converter. Quite impressive. Again, it has a fuel gauge and a cap for uh, refilling it. And the burner assembly, again, is a compression fitting. So, you know, don't store it upside down or anything. And really great design. Let me, let me show you this. Again, it's a pan type where the kerosene just sits there and wicks up these cotton wicks. Using your Mr. Funnels, pour your K1 uh, kerosene through it to make sure that there's no water because again, with these cotton wicks, if it soaks up water, uh, it, it's gonna prohibit uh, a good flow of kerosene absorption. When you receive your stove, the wicks aren't going to be installed. Just take your cotton wick and put it over the hook, okay? And make sure that your burner is as high as it will go. Turn it all the way to the right. And let me see, I've already installed most of these. And just stick it up through the, the tube, like so. Okay, it's a real simple process. And pull it up, see that? And then I use the toothpick trick and that's going to make them all roughly adjusted. Let's see, it's this tube here. See that? Okay, and just pull that out. Now I've been told that uh, when you initially burn this, it's going to cut these in half. So instead of 22 wicks, there's actually 44 wicks in this. That's why it gets so hot. And after you've burned these uh, wicks, you know, for a couple hours, let, let this, the machine oils burn off and all of that. Uh, take your scissors while it's on the highest setting, again, all the way to the right, and trim using your scissors and these two guides, and it'll trim the, the sets of wicks at the proper height. And after you've done this, simply enough, put your wicks back in to the bowl in the bottom. Look at that. Isn't that great? And then put your catalytic converter back in just like so. Put your ring back on. Now it's time to fill it up with a funnel, just like so.
let me show you a, a couple of implements on top of this stove just to give you a, a, a concept of scale with this stove. It's, it's really a behemoth. It's pretty heavy duty. This is a cast iron 10 inch skillet. Look at that. No problem. This is the largest American canner I think I purchased. Look at that. Fits it perfect. That's why I bought this stove, by the way. Or to boil a lot of water quickly. Again, go ahead, fill it up with fuel, burn it for a couple hours before you need to use that. Get rid of the machining oil and all of that. And uh, we're going to do testing on this. It should be very exciting. I'll catch you on the next one.